Hey guys, Merry Christmas! Ding 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 ding! I need to switch on my my head. It switches Why? on. Why? Can't you see? The lights switch on. Mm. <laughs> Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas, everybody! As much as this year has been a complete joke, we still think it's important to celebrate Christmas, to celebrate the year that was, to just be able to celebrate family, knowing that everyone is still in one piece, is still together. So, you know, if you've got your whole family together, that's a Divine. gift all on its own. Today we've made our own Christmas spread with some Christmassy desserts. Well, for food we're going to have pizza. Yeah. So it's like a mini mukbang. We're going to have some pizza. We're going to have some Christmas treats. Like the infamous fruit cake. <laughs> we also got non-alcoholic. I don't know for what. But here's the alcoholic one. We also got the alcoholic one. I mean, I think... You know, when we're serving a table, you have to cater for everyone. You can't just cater for all of us here. You can't, well, so with our the people. Custard, the custard is with brandy. She didn't get non alcoholic one. The custard is with brandy, but it's fine because I need to, whoever doesn't want the alcohol, they won't have the alcohol. I guess they have the option. There's two of us, and we're having it with you guys as well. This. It doesn't matter. You're going to watch it through the television. Okay, fine. The television. Okay. Through the YouTube. And then the chocolate <laughs> jumble dessert. Mmm. What's this? Moist chocolate muffin with fresh cream, chocolate mousse, and, and tossed with caramelized almonds. Milk chocolate balls. Show the peeps the delicious food. Yum, yum, yum. What is this called, Jimena? I just said the title and then you went to 16 milk chocolate balls while oh, I was... Chocolate jumble dessert! <laughs> and then we also have some dessert wine from Niederberg Noble Harvest that we're going to... Sip on with sip dessert. On with dessert because it's dessert wine. <laughs> and of course, family favorite, the Coca-Cola. Just so we can burp. Just so we can burp. 2020 out of our systems and we're having this <laughs> while watching how to ruin christmas the wedding Woo -woo. isn't it how to ruin a christmas wedding no love it's how to ruin christmas it's how to ruin christmas the wedding mm, that's hectic okay i can't wait i'm so hungry so we're gonna start with food and then also start with watching how to Ruin Christmas, which came out on December 16 on Netflix. Um, oh, yeah. You guys can check it out. It features quite a lot of people. The ensemble cast is actually superb. So we're going to check it out just now and comment and laugh and have a good time. Mm. What's in this pizza, babe? That's a pepperoni. And that's some pepperoni. That's uh, avo feta and bacon. Ever feta and bacon, and then we have cherry. I mean, chicken pyrenees over here. And this side is more of the bacon, bacon ever. Yeah, there's no bacon. I don't eat pork. And the what is it? Chicken fury. Yes, yeah. chicken pyrenees. So I'm assuming that's hot. It's not really okay. So, How to Run Christmas has had um, some really nice reviews so far. People are really loving it. They're loving the ensemble cast, which includes Tando Tabete. The main star is Busi Lurai. You guys should remember her from City Says Line, all those other comedies. Um, who else is on the show? The guy from Seriously Single, he was really cute in Seriously Single, and I think he's going to be really cute in this one. What's his name again? I don't know, the Tosa guy. Was, uh, uh, oh, mm. the Tosa guy. He's so hot. And then there's a breakout star guy, the one who's marrying Tando Tabeta, I think. And then, of course, there's Borani Chuene, there's um, Clementine, there's um, Lucky Dube, who's the uncle, there's who else? Wow. Lucky Dube, who's the uncle, really? Is it Lucky Dube? Oh my god, it's not Lucky Dube. What's it? Desmond. Okay. So, 
there's Desmond Tibo who plays the uncle. <laughs> there's Desmond Tibo who plays the uncle and like uh, just the cast is amazing. There's Umu so Chaba. Chaba. What's Chaba's real name yeah, in real life? Motlatsi, yeah, yes, Motlatsi Mafate. There's like just it's an awesome cast. So we're gonna check it out. We're gonna check it out and uh, yeah, guys, watch it with us and tell Yay. us what you guys think. No, 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 we're not calling the police. What if those vultures in the media fire? I'm sure there's a perfectly logical explanation to all of this. I swear this is not what it looks like. Oh, okay. Hi. Oh, it's shot. No, no, definitely same. Burnt Onion Television, which is by the Rama Padena siblings. But they are from the Chabi Is there anything that's ever struck you But they also get serious to single and that's also available on Netflix. Still cute. How to ruin how to how to ruin Christmas the wedding. wedding. There's two more episodes, yes. It's short and sweet. Um and yeah, so far so good. Yeah, we that really, really liked it. It's that was cute. Fun. It was very cute. It's really fun. It's got that seriously single vibe as well, so that's nice. But like the cost here is just like marvelous. Absolutely marvelous. Well done, but onion productions. It was really, really good. So, final thoughts on how to run Christmas. Because you said that a lot of people on this series are toxic. Yes, everybody's toxic <clears throat> in this series. And I had said, well, during wedding season, everyone's usually toxic because it's such a stressful time. But it feels like the characters are toxic on a normal day. Okay, to me, definitely. Yeah. She's always a train smash ready to happen, but only because she thinks about herself. No, no mama the guru. Yeah. Put it worse. They weren't even sleeping together anymore. Exactly. Mm -hmm. But at least they got together near the end too. But I it, was... well, it looked like they're going to work things out. Mm. So seemingly... I need to know the series is called Hot During Christmas and this installment was the wedding. So obviously then they're gonna have another How to Win Christmas and then it's gonna be something else. Maybe it'll be the honeymoon or there's something else, but the second installment should be You can't a... do the honeymoon next year. I didn't see that pregnancy test of um thingy's wife. Did she do a pregnancy test? Mm, when he I came into see. the room and he was like, you deserve better. Oh, really? Mm. She, she was hiding a pregnancy test mm. in the towel thing. But no, I didn't see if it was... Maybe we'll find out at the upcoming, mm. in the next 
season two because there has to be a season two now. They can't not. So, put in don't know what Kaya wanted to tell. He will be there at the end. What were they doing? Weren't they just kissing? What am I lost? I mean, I bet I didn't see anyone. What, what were you watching? I, I'll have to just watch <laughs> the last episode again. He says, like, just after the kiss, he's like, well, since we're being open, I have something to tell you. Mm. Yati, see. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, Pella. Yes, darling. Okay, so we're definitely looking forward to season two. And please, guys, comment in the comment section. Comment in the comment section. Tell us which character you guys like the most and who you're looking forward to seeing in the next season. And personally, my favorite characters were Auntie Grace and Uncle Shadrach. Grace! Shadrach! <laughs> <laughs> and of course, um, what's her name? Mommy and Ben, that's her name. Oh, yes, the granny. Yes, the granny on the rich side. <gasps> She's such a She's wonderful character. Perfect. I hope she has more to say next in the next season. Mm -hmm. That, that wedding would be really joke. awesome. <laughs> this dessert one is super sweet, ne? Yo, maybe, maybe you should drink it with like. And that's by and say, I'm a date. You wine. It's very sweet. I think maybe it's nice if you eat it with something that's not as sugary. But if it's dessert wine, you're obviously going to drink it with sugary stuff. You know? Okay. So anyway, this is our second last episode of the year. And last year, we did a whole Christmas cake thing. <laughs> with mayonnaise. With yep. mayonnaise. Yeah, baked a cake with mayonnaise. <laughs> Which was very nice. And last year we were saying we would see what what was your twenty twenty vibe for us for this year. I don't. What was your goal thing? I I, I had said because I know, but was a shit show. I can't well, we didn't remember. even know. You know what I mean? That's I how know. bad it was. I can't remember what my goals were. I well, I had said that I don't want to be that I'm going to be more unapologetic, and I obviously wasn't. <laughs> Because I don't think this year really allowed me to be. But one thing I did realize about this year is how ill-disciplined I am when it comes to bettering myself, like my body or like, you know, starting a routine and all of that stuff. And I've been saying that I'm going to proper, proper start a routine because I feel like routines really work for me when I can tick stuff off. So this year, this coming year, 2021, and all its things... One, I hope COVID can end finally, or at least just become like a baby factor in our lives. Um, and two, I'm gonna definitely practice discipline a little bit more, and just because I owe it to myself, you know. Mm. More than anything else, that's that's what you need to realize that you owe it to yourself, and also just to be better to my people that I haven't been better to, better to myself, you know. Just be nicer, be more open. Allow myself to feel a little bit more. I think and that's what I'm going to do. Okay, okay. I think then you should, hey. Allow yourself to just feel a little bit more. I'm too tired. Yeah, but it's the end of the year. Maybe next year you'll feel different. Mm -hmm. I'm taking things personally. I'm taking things one day at a time. I'm just hoping to make it. Yeah. I'm exhausted. You don't think your mind's going to change next year? If it does, then it changes. That's what taking things one day at a time is about. Okay. No, that's fine, yeah. No, I'm, I'm definitely... Ah! This flies. I'm definitely going to try my best to just become, like, way more disciplined than what I am. Because, yeah, I need it. But, yeah, guys, thank you for watching. We'll see you guys next week. Same time, same place. I'm Girlfriends in the City. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. What do they say? Ka happy seasons. Ka seasons greetings. Yeah, there we go. Seasons greetings. <laughs>